What's up guys? Yes, today we are saying goodbye, so long, say la vie, adios, good riddance, to boring power chords. Okay? We know a power chord. Okay? And some of them can be quite boring. And when I say boring, uh, it refers to what I've seen a lot uh, in people's playing. No criticizing. The power chords are power chords. There's only so many things you can do with the power chord. So you hit a power chord and it's... But sometimes it doesn't just have to be as, it doesn't just have to be that. Sometimes adding the smallest little bit of vibrato to a power chord, not even vibrato, just a slight little bit of a bend, can just bring a simple power chord to life. So it'll go from, from this, I'll do it low volume, and then I'll do it normal volume. Yeah? And I think certain riffs, when it comes to doing power chords, just call for that, you know? Because it just, it, it's, it's less boring and stiff. So if I take a riff, uh, uh, Now That We're Dead, by Metallica, um, by adding that cool little, just slight little vibrato to the power chord, just brings the riff to life. So if you play that riff without it... And then if you play it with it... It just adds something a little bit more exciting, you know? Something that I put a lot in, into a lot of my playing um, is just those little things. Now, every single power chord doesn't have to be like that because that would just get ridiculous. But, but try it. Sometimes just try and add in that little bendiness to, uh, to your power chords and make them less boring and stoof. And another thing to, to, you know, spice it up a little bit, instead of doing a traditional kind of power chord, so if we take a G power chord, which is here, instead of doing that and the fifth, take these two, your little finger and the one next to it, and for example with the G, it's going to be finger on the fifth fret of the A string, little finger on the D string of the fifth fret, and that'll give you a G, but a little bit different. And you can add some, you know, some vibrato to that, and it's just a different way of playing it, mixing it up and making it fun. It's something that a lot of uh, uh, Metallica songs have in, have in them. Um, for example, Seek and Destroy, you know, the ba da 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 wan -ow, wan -ow, that riff, would be, a lot of people will go, yeah, power chord, but to do it the other way, the Metallica way, it would be this. I think it just sounds better. And it's 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 just easier to play. Saves yourself doing all the slidey stuff. If you don't want to do that, but it does sound better in my opinion. That's another way that you can spice up your you know your power chords instead of just playing. Make it a little bit more exciting. So guys, there you go. That is two ways to. Uh, Spice up your power chord life and say goodbye to those boring, stiff-ass power chords. Give those two techniques a try next time you're playing uh, and spice up your power chords. And um, let me know how you get on. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. Come follow me on Instagram. Huge shout out to my channel members. Feel free to become a channel member by hitting the join button. Or there is a link below where you can join for exclusive bonus content. Members only live streams. Cool badges next to your name. Members only emojis. All that cool shit. As always, rock out. Be awesome. See ya.